I thought I'd do a quick video comparing the Firefox 5 beta to the Chrome 13 beta. Chrome 13 beta has been out for a few days and I think it will probably be released in the next few weeks. And the Firefox 5 beta has been in beta stages for quite a while now. And it's actually releasing, the release cans date is actually releasing tomorrow. But I've, I think you can actually, if you want to, download the proper release cans date today. But I've got the beta just to make it more fair. First of all, I'll just open them up separately so you can see how quickly each of them loads onto the home page I've set, which is Google. I'll just then walk through a few of the new features Firefox 5 has. Um, the only really major one is a privacy option, but it's still quite good. And then I'll do a few real-world tests. Obviously, I can't get them exactly at the same time because I have to press enter twice, but you know it's going to be less than a tenth of a second between the two, so it's real-world, uh, almost exactly the same. So if you do Chrome first... So that's very fast loading up. Then Firefox. That was probably slightly slower, but I mean, there's barely anything in it. The new feature Firefox fo Firefox has is if you go into Options, Privacy, you can click this option here, which says Tell Websites I Do Not Want to Be Tracked. Basically, it stops cookies from following you from site to site. So it's a very good privacy feature to have. If I open both of them up, I'll put them side by side so we can compare the speed of them. I'll use a few like graphics intensive websites like YouTube and stuff, so because obviously if it's basically mostly text, they'll probably load them at exactly the same time because text is really easy to load. The other feature of Firefox 5 over Firefox 4, I think it's fixed quite a few bugs. It's supposed to be slightly faster rendering JavaScript and stuff, so that might help Firefox in these graphics intensive websites I'll go on to. I've cleared the cache and the history and stuff like that, so neither browser has any advantage. So if I go on to uh, YouTube I'll press enter on Firefox first now that was actually about that was quite that was about half a second quicker on uh, Firefox. I know obviously you have to take off a bit of a second because I pressed enter slightly for Chrome but it was definitely faster if I if everything's load everything has rendered properly. We go on another one, bike radar. Radar.com. I'll do uh, Chrome first. Now the video is still loading here. Oh wow, that was that was definitely Chrome. Um, they loaded roughly the same time for the text and pictures, but Chrome beat Firefox on the loading of the video. If we do BBC, can't spell. I'll do Chrome again first. Now that was actually. I think Chrome actually was slightly slower than Firefox in that one. So if we do Daily Mail, that's got tons of pictures and stuff. It's not too good a uh, newspaper, but we're just using it for the graphics side of it. Go on Chrome first. Now uh, that was definitely Chrome. They're both loading actually still. We'll see which one stops. Oh! That stopped at almost, I think that was basically exactly the same. I couldn't really see any difference there. So let's say that was a draw. So if you go on one more, let's say, uh, if you go on News of, the, News of the World. News of the World. UK. Do Chrome, uh, Firefox first. Now that was probably Firefox, uh, if you go right to the bottom, I just finished loading it, that was probably Firefox, if you do one more just to uh, basically the same speed, which is good because Chrome is usually quite a lot faster than Firefox, that's one of its main uh, selling points, that it's really fast. If we do, if we do ITV.com, do Chrome first. No, 
Now, I was going to say that Chrome actually slightly slower than Firefox on everything apart from this. I'm not sure maybe if that's a compatibility issue because ITV Live has come up on Chrome, but it hasn't come up on uh, Firefox. Perhaps that's a co compatibility issue, but it definitely loaded the rest of it faster. So, yeah, Firefox has definitely improved in speed. Perhaps not everything is perfect just yet but it's definitely improved in speed and obviously it's got that option to improve your privacy so I would recommend Firefox as an alternative to Chrome I think Firefox has definitely improved in speed I'm not sure exactly if it's as fast or faster than Chrome but it's definitely getting there